Okay, uh, here we are at the Argos Gallery with Eli, Le Eli Levin, also known as Joe Batiste, who is a social realist, uh, studied under the Sawyer Brothers in New York in the 50s, and uh, I want to have Joe tell us a little bit about the three paintings that he has here that are going to be in uh, a show of uh, social realism and Goya paintings. It's opening, opening up this uh, Friday, December 2nd at the Argos Gallery with a reception from 4.30 to 7. Okay, Joe, can you tell us a little bit, bit about these paintings, social realism, and the egg tempera medium that you work in? Okay, I, I did these three paintings in the last couple of months. Uh, they're all egg tempers. I started with this one, and then I did that one, and then the bigger one. Uh, the idea was this, uh, there's been all these demonstrations about the 99% and the 1% of rich people. So my idea was to put the rich people up at the highest, like, leveled society and then have all the 99% down below them. It started real simple here where this would be a politician, he's got his posters for himself and there's all the rich people are on the lower level except the white ones are a little higher than the Spanish ones and the black ones on the side. And then I thought I could make it more complicated. So I used the same idea of the, the rich guy with the playgirl or the courtesan or whatever you call her. Uh, and uh, I added the, vi the uh, surveillance cameras and the barbed wire and I put the flag. And here I have a middle class also with the whites, blacks, and Spanish. And then I have the homeless people at the bottom, because now there's so many people losing their homes. So that got more intense and more complicated than this. But then, I got this even more horrible idea, which uh, I call, uh, Praise the Lord, Eat Shit, and Die. And yeah, this, this is one I really like. Yeah, this is the strongest one. I have three representatives of the upper class. There's a, a minister, a, a rich man, or he could be a politician, and the army. So the minister has the cross, the rich man has a dollar sign, and the army guy, general, has a death head. So they're all shitting, and the shit's coming out on the lower class, and uh, the minister, they're praying to his shit. And uh, the rich man, they're eating his shit. And under the general, they're dying from his shit. So that's the meaning of that painting. And these are all in egg temper, right? Yeah, they're all painted. You mix the yellow of an egg with dry pigments. I've been doing that for years. And then uh, paint with it. And you have all these little cups with a little cup. Now, there's not that many people in the country that do egg temper. It's a very difficult medium to work in. I mean, how did you work on something this large in egg tempera? Most of the egg tempera paintings I've seen are pretty small. Well, uh, there's a style that I don't use where you have to use lots of little brush strokes. That's the famous egg tempera style. But the style I use is very loose. As you can see, there's no little strokes except maybe on the faces a little bit. So I can work as large as I want. And some of the Renaissance artists painted huge egg tempers. Uh, the ones that didn't do frescoes, they used egg tempera before oil was invented. So it can be done, it's just a question of using it more loosely. Uh, and I like egg tempera because it has a matte surface, it's not shiny like an oil painting. And secondly, uh, the colors are quite bright, though you can't get deep, dark colors like you can with the light. What about the drying time? Is that the, It dries as you go. Yeah, I was going to say, doesn't it dry before you even get it to the canvas, or is that an old, old wide well, scale? It has to be on a board, they're on boards. They, uh, you have time, if you have about five seconds to smush it around before it dries. And then you could paint right over it, you can change it. I, I don't keep to one system, I, uh, I do a little sketch, but I change it as I go along. For instance, I, I added uh, this shopping cart after I finished the painting. And I thought, well, homeless people would have a shopping cart, and somebody got me a little picture of a shopping cart, so I just put it right on top of the picture. So this seems to go really well with the Goya etchings 
from uh, the Dr. Robert Bell collection uh, that's going to be in the show on December 2nd. I mean, it seems... Well, Eric, like a... the curator of the show, uh, wanted pictures from our stable of artists that had something to do with Goya. And he was a very political artist um, and uh, critical of the rich people of his time. And he, he felt sorry for the peasants, <laughs> if we could call ourselves peasants. So... Uh, he thought these would go good at the show. Okay, well, thanks, Joe, and I hope a lot of people show up for the show. We hope so.